Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the next tutorial. But this time before I get started, I wanted to ask you, are you planning to attend Autodesk University 2023? It's the Design and Make conference taking place on November 13th through the 15th. And there is a physical component, but the good news is, is that you can join online for free. I've always seen some really great content coming out of the Autodesk University and I always wanted to attend. And when I looked at the sessions this year, I was really impressed so guess what i'm going to actually be going to autodesk university in vegas but before i get started on the amazing sessions that they have i'd like to say that this video is sponsored by autodesk the design and make platform company i'm sure you already know about this but autodesk is the tech leader in a number of industries including animation game and virtual production to name a few They've completely revamped their flagship event this year. There is a huge demand for high production value content. And the content this year is gonna focus on open standards, cloud-based workflows, and platform-based production pipelines. From sessions on emerging technologies to technical classes of mastering cutting edge techni techniques, you'll learn new skills and make connections with industry visionaries and experts. Now there is going to be a streaming portion of the university and I am most excited about the AI powered workflows in Maya, exploring Maya's workflows for character animation, reverse rigging, and Maya and ZBrush together, an intro guide for indie artists and much, much more. The sessions that I will be physically attending bright and early is co-creating the future of 3D real-time interactive environments, which sounds awesome. And in the afternoon, architecture and product design with Maya and Unreal Engine. So there's also an expo floor, which is always super fun. I think I mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it again, that the digital streaming ticket is free. Autodesk Digital is free. Free digital pass will give you access to live streams, on-demand sessions, classes, and talks. So go to autodesk.com slash Academic Phoenix Plus. I know your own private link to get a free pass for Autodesk 2023. And of course, you'll find the link in the description below. If I don't see you virtually, I will see you in Vegas. But before that big event, let's go ahead and dive into Maya 2024 and its new features. All right, let's take a look at what's new in Maya 2024 update one. So that's the one that I'm currently using. And I do encourage you guys to take a look at Autodesk Maya 2024 and their updates because it's really neat what type of new tools they're developing for us 3D artists. In this update, they're really working on the quality of life for animators. So for example, one of the new enhancements that they have is called the time slider. And they also have this delete multi display layer. It's very simple, but it's so useful. So I wanted to demonstrate those two. So let's take a look at the time slider enhancements. So I'm gonna click here. And one of the things that they mentioned, it's all the really cool things that the time slider actually does. And I'm gonna demonstrate them to you. Let me jump over to Maya 2024. and this this is a motion capture animation that I did. I have a video tutorial on how to do exactly this. Take your own character and put in motion capture. So what we have here is we have our character and you can see that we have a variety of keyframes here. And you'll notice that in the keyframes, and I'm going to break this up a little higher, you can see that we have keyframes on the actual frame, like 24, but then you'll notice that we have like a frame on 24 point something. And then you'll notice that there's a bunch of them that are actually not on the actual keyframe that they're off by a little bit. So uh, usually what we do is we're going to double click on this on the timeline. We're going to right click and then we click on snap. And Maya does a great job in trying to snap as many of the keyframes as they can to an actual frame. But you'll notice that we still have a couple of wandering mid frames. They're not really doing much and, and it it's kind of complicated to animate with a bunch of little in-betweens. They provided some new tool for us. We're going to double click on this. We're going to right click and under keys, you're going to see that we have something new. It's called remove key and you'll see that it's fluorescent green. And if I go to unsnapped, it will actually get rid of all of the unsnapped keyframes. And this is really helpful because it now cleans up my timeline. Another new enhancement. So let's say that I want to get rid of all the animation before frame 19. So I can select frame 19. I'm going to right click, go to keys, go to the new tool, remove keys, and then I can go and select 
before current frame. And what it does is that it re deletes all of the frames before 19. Now remember, I only have the hip selected. I could do that with all the joints. Well, what if I wanted to delete all of the keyframes after frame 39? Well, again, they made it really easy. We're going to right click, we're gonna go to keys, remove keys, and then choose after current frame, and then it gets rid of all the keyframes. And I'm talking about all of them, not just the ones in front of the timeline, I'm talking about all of them really handy if you just want to keep a portion of your animation. But that is not all. Let's take a look at some other tools that they have. Let me undo what I just did. And do I really have to select the left side and the right side? Can I just grab a whole portion and remove all those keyframes? So you can make a selection by holding down shift, click and drag. And then I'm going to right click keys, remove keys, and you can choose outside selected range. Click on that, just like that, uh, the left side of my selection and the right side of my selection, all the keyframes are now gone. So that means that if I wanted to create a library of animations or I just wanted to keep a particular part of, an, of the animation, I can easily just make a selection of my keys and then remove all the frames that I don't need. Okay, one last really cool enhancement of this tool is, and of course makes animation significantly easier, you can actually delete a bunch of frames and then move the frame. So let's say, for example, I wanted to keep 0 through 19, but I wanted to delete 20 through 33 and then move all the frames in 35 and on and move them to the left so that they would replace all the ones that I just deleted. So usually what you would have to do is delete these frames and then select all the other frames and then move them. Well, now you can do them really fast. So I can actually select frame 19 all the way to 34. I'm gonna right click, keys, remove keys, and then I can choose ripple delete. And just like that, it deleted those keyframes and then moved the other ones. As you can see, here's my other unsnapped keys that I haven't deleted. So there you go. I mean, that is very impressive. Maya 2024.1 20, has these really great enhanced tools for animation, and it just makes it significantly easier to animate in Maya 2024. Okay, another cool thing that Maya 2024 update one has is the delete a multi display layer. It's a simple tool, I'm gonna click here, but it's so it's just so nice because I used to just right click and delete, right click and delete, but not anymore. So I'm gonna go over here to my layers and as you can see, I have a bunch of layers that I don't need, including one called extra layer. And let's say I don't need my extra layer and I don't need my background, so I'm going to right click. There's an enhanced tool called delete selected layers. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that that, and just like that, it disappears. So nice. It's very small, but really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Also like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this type of content and that you want to see more. And uh, don't forget that you can get into Autodesk University 2023, the digital content for free. Feel free to use my direct link at autodesk.com slash academic Phoenix plus. And here's a QR code to make it really easy and sign up because it's free and there's going to be so much great content. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating and I will see you next time in the next tutorial.